In this video, I want to show you how to run 3D sweeps from a Python interface, taking advantage of NI's 5G millimeter wave over the air validation solution. Here in the OTA chamber, we have a 64 element active antenna system that we're going to characterize. So what I'm going to do first is launch a configurator, which is part of the OTA software that NI gives you. And here I can select the instrument that I want to use specific settings for power levels, um, attenuation of every path, uh, setting the specific frequency I want to use for this test. In this case, we're going to be running this characterization at 28 gigahertz. So you just have to add that frequency to the configuration here, select horizontal and vertical polarization. I can also determine what are going to be the coordinates of my uh, sweep. So in this case, we're going to do a complete sphere from minus 180 to 180 in azimuth and from negative 90 to 90 degrees in elevation. So we have a complete uh, circle, complete sphere. And we're going to do it in autonomous mode, covering over uh, 2,500 points. So a pretty detailed uh, picture here is what we're going to get. Then I can point to the specific calibration files. Uh, making sure that I account for every path loss. And once I've got all those settings done, I can just save this file that I'm going to use later, and I'm going to invoke it from uh, Python. So I've got my file ready. I can then uh, close this uh, configurator. And then uh, in the help that we provide, you can see this is the Python syntax. So we're calling the Python interface with a, a command to run the asynchronous measurement. So once I type that uh, command uh, and point it to the configuration file that we had created, then the OTA system begins to run the complete sweep. No additional commands, no additional uh, instructions that I need to send to the RF instrumentation or to the chamber. So it controls both the millimeter wave VST and the positioner to give me a complete set of results. In this case, I can see the heat map directly from this Python interface. Alternatively, I can call the NI visualizer where I can see what are the results of uh, my sweep. So it generates a sweep file. I can see uh, 3D rendering. I can see the heat map. I can see specific cuts in azimuth and elevation. I can change that by angle. And I can also look at polar plots for this uh, results file. Now let's look at how to run the same type of sweep, but from a MATLAB interface. So in MATLAB, I have to give it a uh, command and point it to the configuration file that we had already created. So I have to load the script that NI has already created for you. And then here from the MATLAB interface, I just run the autonomous command, pointing it to the configuration file that we had created. Then the script begins to run, controlling the OTA chamber and taking RF measurements at the same time using the autonomous fast sweep mode. So after we're done with the whole sweep, we can also have access to all the variables in MATLAB where I can plot the heat map, for example, or I can uh, use the variables to plot, uh, plot other types of visualizations. Alternatively, I can use the NI visualizer to see the results.